Yo, what is going on guys? Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on the plugin called Simple Restart Time. So obviously it's a restart plugin and it will restart and countdown and the countdown will display in the chat for your players. So it kind of lets them know that the server is about to restart. So whatever they're doing, they have to kind of wrap it up. And it can also display in the action bar. What this plugin also is, is also an auto restart plugin. Once the countdown reaches zero, it will automatically shut off. It will also automatically reopen the .bat that starts your server. So automatically restart your server on its own. So that is awesome. Go ahead and download this plugin and I'll show you how to install it. So when you download this plugin, it should look like this. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to obviously drag the simple restart.jar and the simple restart folder into your plugins folder itself. So as simple as that, you drag and drop in there. That's obvious, but make sure you're in the root folder of your server. So the very first thing when you open your server folder where all the start is, the spig.jar is, and the world folders are at, that's the root. That's where you're going to want to be. So you're going to drag the start.bat and then the start command into your server folder just like that. I already have it in there, so I'm not gonna do that. If you have a Mac, you're gonna wanna drag these two instead, but once you have all of those set up, so this is what I launched my server with, the launch.bat. Yours might be called something else, and then this is my spigot.jar, it's called spigot. So just keep in mind of those things. Now in the spigot.yml, the actual spigot.yml, you're gonna edit that, go to notepad++, and then go down to the restart script, and then you're gonna wanna change it to dot slash, and then whatever the name of your .bat that starts up your server. So the thing that you double click, whatever the name of that is. So mine is launch.bat. Make sure you include the .bat at the end, and then obviously the dot and the slash in the beginning. And if you have a Mac, you're gonna to wanna to leave it exactly how it was when you first open this up, except you're gonna change the name of your starting thing. So mine's obviously launch. If yours was launch, you would make it launch as well. But like I said, if you have Windows, you're gonna to wanna to do what I just said, and then save it, and then go into your plugins folder, go into the simple restart folder and go into the config. So here are a couple settings you can change. You can change all the messages that are displayed, the countdown in chat. If you wanted to count down on the auction bar, you're gonna need that auction bar plugin in the description. And then this is when the countdown will actually show up. So like in the message in the action bar. So in 30 seconds, that's when it will start. So if you start at 50, it's not gonna start until it reaches 30. And then the other cool feature, which is the auto reboot. So it automatically restarts if you want that on true. And then this is what time it will be on your server when it restarts. So that's like the ticks. Uh, you don't have to really worry about that. And then the restart command, you can leave it like that, which is restart. So go ahead and save that. And now let's go ahead and test it out. So let's say you just restart your server. Here we are. And then the command is slash s restart. And then the countdown that you want to start out. So I'm going to go with 35 seconds. I'm going to hit enter. And then it displays there, but it's not going to actually start counting down until it reaches 30. Here we go, we are counting down in the chat and then in the action bar as well. And then I'm going to go ahead and display the console and you guys will see that it automatically stops and then a new one will pop up when the countdown reaches zero and it will start the server by itself. So here we go, we're going to reach zero, three, two, one, bam, there we go, it automatically shuts down and then a new one starts up. So just like as you were to start up your server, it does it by itself. So really, really cool. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this plugin tutorial. If you did, make sure to drop a like, subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.